I'm Brittany. And I'm Mackenzie. And this is Geekery TV. The channel where we talk about the stuff we geek out about. I'm sorry. And Mackenzie's eating snacks. I haven't eaten dinner yet and I worked, so I'm I'm eating delicious vanilla cupcake goldfish. Mm. Mm. Shameless plug. They're two for five at Meyer. They may not be this week, but they were last week. Anyway, goldfish. They were three for five last week. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. I don't know what it's about. She's surprising me. But it's more or less going to be me and you, but you don't know this yet, complaining, oh, bitching, about neighbors. We have <laughs> some of the rudest neighbors. We have this very attractive guy who lives above us. Which I love nothing more than a good-looking guy above me. With no running band. <laughs> running band? Wedding band, I went like this. <laughs> Sorry, I needed to take a drink of my fresca. But, he has got some noise issues. Um, I don't know if it's a kid. It's gotta be a kid. I'm assuming it's a kid that he gets, like, every two weekends. But, I don't care during the week. And... If at night you're playing video games, but I don't need to hear that you're accelerating and that there are cops chasing you or that you're beating some hookers down in GTA 5. I really just, my biggest problem is I don't care about the noise levels until about 1 o'clock in the morning. Right, and that, then it's just rude and it's disrespectful to the other people who live in the building. I try and be really quiet. Mackenzie... Mostly tries to be quiet. I'm a lot hard walk. I am. I I heel walk. She's she's a stomper, like it's a freaking runway. I don't. But I said, what? But the neighbor we have below us, he is he's autistic. He, and he, I've asked him, and he has said no. He can't hear us. And sometimes we will yell at the TV every once in a while, and that's one thing. But it's like every other weekend we have to listen to this guy's extreme video game playing because the sound is so it loud. It vibrates the picture frames on our wall. Like, I can hear every, <laughs> I can hear every time they shoot someone. <laughs> I can hear every time they accelerate. I, it's like, I just want to go up there and be like, dude, just turn it down a little bit. I don't care. Play your video game. Yeah, right. That's awesome. Have a great time with your friends that are over. Drink right. a beer. Have fun. I don't care. But you have to be so damn loud at 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm trying to freaking sleep. And it's not like he's doing it in his living room, which is about 5 feet well, of, of, away from us above. But they do it in their spare bedroom. They do it in both. Because their spare bedroom is above my room. Yeah. And I take sleeping pills anyways to fall asleep. So you playing really loud video games above me and playing guitars at four in the morning and, I want and to pianos. Say something, but I don't do confrontation. I do. And I saw him the other day. It was yesterday. I saw him when I was cashing my paycheck, which the bank is right next door. <laughs> so I wanted to roll down the window and be like, hey. But instead, when he looked over, I just waved. She does not do conversation <laughs> I wanted to bake them be quiet cookies. I don't know how that works. I just want to... Positive affirmation. No. I almost walked up there last weekend and Brittany was like, don't do don't it. Don't do it. Because I'm going to yell at you for having your crap up so loud. But then I'm going to be like, hey, can I play? I just don't have it so loud. I have issues when people are just blatantly rude to rude. other people. Yeah. We have got, you know, we've got neighbors on the... On the other side of this wall Who have here, a kid. Who are very quiet. I see him every night that I get off. I, you know, because I see the, we get off at the same time I and we talk. I see the girl every once in a while. And they're young. They're younger. They're you know, like 27, 28. Yeah, I put them in their mid to late 20s. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Nothing happens when you die. <laughs> Thank you, Dane Cook. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that. <laughs> I don't know why. Sorry. Anyway. And they're really quiet. They're really nice. You know, they're very polite. We've got <coughs> neighbors on the other side who we never see. I'm not sure if those Asians, and they're Asian, I'm not being racist. I just don't know what kind of Asian. Because they refuse to talk to us. I've seen them twice, and they've lived here almost a year. No. Yes. Kelly moved out in May. Oh my god, it is almost a year. Yeah, they moved in in like June. I've been here for over a year. Yeah. They 
<laughs> like, never come out. Their blinds are always shut. But they have weird smelling foods coming from their apartment. I Pretty know. hates our I don't like cooking smells. <laughs> she can't touch raw meat. She hates mm-hmm. cooking smells. Yeah, I am, like, not the world's best cook. But I can bake a pie. I can't cake. bake. <laughs> But I can cook. Yeah, I don't want to touch... I have surgery. Together, we make a great housewife. We make the perfect woman. (laughs) But I have an issue with the just blatant rudeness. Like, like, dude, I get it. You pay the same amount of money I do to live here, or we do. You know, so... That's cool. Live in your apartment, but... Have fun. Drink your beers, because apparently we're the, the... Lamest people that live in our building. We can. Well, there's two buildings on our property and one dumpster, which is like. I can look. I'm looking at the dumpster right now. It's not like right at outside our patio of, door. It's not like right outside our window. It's not like a hundred yards. It's not, not even a hundred yards. yards. And everybody, every time people throw away their it's trash, it's like <laughs> just like bottles upon bottles. I'm like, Dang. we don't do that. And there are. I don't talk to any of the neighbors. I, I do. I have a major issue. I'm, is, <laughs> I'm anti-social. And it's not My out toys. of being a dick. I just have social anxiety. So when I see neighbors, I either stay in my car. And wait for them to leave. Or I put up my hood. And put on your sunglasses and keep her head down and walk. I mean, yeah, I just can't. The only person I ever talk to... Well, sometimes the girl on a, that's on our floor, too, we're leaving at the same time in the Kayla? morning. I don't know her name. She's the girl who drives the red Ultima. Kayla. I talk to everybody. I don't know. Like, I just, I see her in the mornings. We pass each other in the hallway, and it's just like, hey, good morning. That's it. Of course, no one knows. Don't talk to me in the morning, because I'm angry. Because I'm awake. She's <laughs> constantly angry in the morning. Until it hits, like... 10.30, and then I'm 11. like... 11. Uh, She's like, okay, I'm up. I guess I might as well be... <laughs> <laughs> she might as well talk to somebody. Yeah. So, mornings are no no good for me. I talk to everybody. I, but I just... <sighs> Making friends and changing lives. I was like that in college, though, too. I didn't, like, talk. I lived in a big girl, all-girls dorm, and I would be like... like I just am really uncomfortable talking to strangers. I do not make friends easily. She could never be a waitress. Uh, I was a really good bartender. Yeah, but you had, like, regulars, because it was a private club. It was a private club. Plus, basically, I would just, like, pretend I liked everybody. And then come home and talk about them. Be like, I hate those old guys. I love those old guys. But, anyway, so, be neighborly. I'm trying to make eye contact. It is hard for me. Sometimes when we go places, if I'm already there, Brittany will sit in her car and wait for me to come outside. That has never happened with you, but it's happened with other people. And go, and walk her in, because she can't, it's the initial getting in there. I have extreme social anxiety sometimes, not always. If you have social anxiety and you understand what I'm talking about, please, please come up below. Or if you're friends with us in real life, please, don't make fun of me. No, don't make, it's, it's not. <laughs> it just makes me feel really bad. But it does explain a lot. It does. So, you're having a little insight to Brittany's character right now. Yeah, because I don't do that a lot. I don't do a lot of oversharing. Not oversharing. But, it explains why Brittany doesn't talk to people, and I'm the total opposite. I talk to everybody. I don't care what people think. I totally... Then tell the neighbor to shut the hell up! You wouldn't let me. I know, I was scared. She was afraid for me, and I was like, they're not going to do anything. he's going to hate us. Because that, what are they, care. what are they going to do, tamper with the mailbox because you can't get in it? She wouldn't let me. I, part of me wants to just be like, hey dude, You're being turn a down your stuff and be, be nice to your neighbors. And the other part of me is like, don't say anything or I'll freaking kill you. Cramps. But, at the same time, the neighbor that lived up there before him, we could hear her whole phone conversations. It's like that apartment attracts loud people. And her extremely gymnastic sexual exploits. I don't need to know that Steve is a boss. I don't need that in my life. Oh, man. And you have a really creaky bed. WD-40. Come on. And it was right above my bed. I don't need My bed doesn't see any action. My bed doesn't see any action. Why do I need to hear my neighbors doing it? That's not okay. 
Of course, me and the upstairs guy, we do pee at the same time every morning. It's really weird. Because our toilet, the walls in the bathroom, or the ceiling in the bathroom, are real thin. It's so thin that while he's peeing, and I'm getting ready for work in the morning, and I'm usually going to the bathroom too, we're peeing at the same time. Like, in unison. It's very odd. It's strange. I don't like it. But I can also hear him, like, flip on every single switch in the bathroom. There's two! I don't know why he <laughs> flips four! He just, maybe he has OCD. Maybe. And that's why the TV is always at, like, 46. Yeah, it is at, like... It may be OCD. You know, if he was in, um, Spinal Tap, his TV's at 11. Always. Oh, but then he comes home, like, on weeknights, and, and he's quiet. Like, you hear him walk through, and that's it. Today, not a sound. I heard him leave earlier. His car's not here. And that's it. So weird that I know who people's cars are. I just know the one guy who stalks me at the flower shop. Can we talk about that? Let's talk about that. <sighs> Brittany has a stalker. <laughs> talk about it. He is an older guy. He's not old. But he's probably like, what, 10, 15 years older than me. So he's like 55. Oh, that's 20. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a dick. I hate you. <laughs> You're tacky and I hate you. <laughs> so he's like in his 40s. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am only 31, by the She's way. She's in her late 20s, as I tell everybody. <laughs> so this guy, he's like a little, little guy. He's not very tall. He's taller than me. Everybody's taller than me. So he's between 5 foot and 6 foot. That's what we got. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like... Five, five. He's a little guy. I could wear three inch heels on him. <laughs> and he lives upstairs, but not above us. He lives next to the, uh, the above last us. apartment. Yeah. Um. He waits for Brittany to get off work. He has. He likes to stand like where his balcony is. It overlooks the parking lot, and sometimes he just likes to stand there and watch me on the balcony. And I can feel him staring at me. <laughs> so I will look up, and he'll be like. They'll be like, hmm? Don't wave! I feel like it's rude not to! And then he showed up at the flower shop, and I was like, hmm. And he was like, did you renew your lease? And I was like, oh, yeah. It's creepy. I was like, hmm. But my sister's living with me. <laughs> yeah, we did. I just said we, I didn't say who. Because I've been here for over a year. Illegally. Illegally in the city <gasps> of which we live in. Oh, rash. She's stress rash. Stress rash is what I just said. <laughs> stress rash. I'm sorry. The hunger is kicking. The hungry and tired is kicking in. Whew. Um, sorry. But that has, uh, basically, I just wanted to bitch about our neighbors. I didn't know what we were going to talk about. Until we started. Neighbors. Um, Bad I, neighbors, good neighbors. I... I miss the old lady. Oh. She was so sweet. Look at the saloon, saloon doors. doors. We're not allowed to put nails in the walls. All we can hang anything with is, like, decals that'll come up without ripping. And hey. thumbtacks. And thumbtacks? How did she get... She got saloon doors because they came with the apartment. Shut up. Yeah, before they remodeled. Because some of the other apartments that people, like, the older people live in, I notice this because I like to look in people's houses. When their doors are open, Brittany's a, sl a silent creeper and a silent klepto. <laughs> and you almost said slut. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a slut, I wouldn't be concerned about his noise. <laughs> uh, I like to look in people's houses. I'm really nosy. But I like to do it, like, stealthily. Yeah. So, like, anyway. when people are taking in their groceries. Yeah, then it's like, ooh, hey. Because everybody, because everybody besides me apparently takes two trips. No. I, if carrying grocery bags was an Olympic sport, I would gold medal in that every year. I probably still wouldn't have been happy about you going to Sochi. <laughs> you know. And we're not going to talk about that. Those are personal things. <laughs> we don't like Sochi. So, anyway, be a good neighbor. 
be respectful. That's all I ask. If your neighbor doesn't make eye contact with you, don't assume they're a dick. Yeah, maybe you just need to say <laughs> hello first. Because maybe they have social anxiety and they are totally freaked out to talk to strangers because of stranger danger. Thanks a lot, Mom. She tells me that every time we go out. Like, I'll say hi to people. She'll be like, stranger danger. <laughs> I'm 23 years old. Do I didn't know the password. Did you guys have a password? No, I didn't have a password growing up. Okay, that was a thing. Like, Sesame Street told your parents. What's your password? I can't tell you. Then everybody will know that they can get me because they'll know my password. Are they cauliflower unicorns? I feel like no. that should be a password. Somebody make that a password for something. No. Quesadilla. <laughs> 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 Movie reference. No. But in the, in the mid-80s. <laughs> in the mid-80s, that was the thing. was like, you gave your kids a password so that no one stole your kid. No one would come to the school and be like, hey, <laughs> I'm so, I'm Jimmy's dad's friend. I'm here to pick him up. And then the kid could be like, what's the password? And if they didn't have the password, then they couldn't go with him. So I had a password. I'd I had a password that was complex and that no one would understand. No one would ever guess it. That's what I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> Apparently, I can't pick Brittany up from school. Well, I'm not going to put it on the internet, then everybody's going to be able to come to work and be like, hey, I'm here to pick up Brittany. My mom's going to be like, what's the password? And they're going to be like, blah, 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 blah. And then they're going to be like, oh, mom's going to be like, yep, that's the password. We made it up. Bye. Because mom asks everybody what the password is. How do people come to pick me up at work? <laughs> Your future boyfriend, fiance, husband, whatever, I'm going to get the password at the end of this video, like when we're off camera, so that I'm going to be like, well, it's the password, that's the only way you're going to marry my sister. You have to know the password. <laughs> or not <nonstop. laughs> <Yes. laughs> We make these packs all the time where it's like, oh. like last night we made a pack that we have to make the, the groomsmen, groomsmen at our weddings. Neither of us are dating, <laughs> by the way.
cute. And then today, I'm so sad I missed that. This morning, you took your little brother. I think it's his brother. With you, and you ran him into the gate when the fence when you were trying Even to. Even though the gate's right there, and it swings. swings. Open and the swing gate. Swing the gate open. Oh my God, you kill me. Maybe that's your exercise. So, eight mile. If you watch this, stop rapping. I mean, making fun of you. you should rap, but louder, so we can tape it <laughs> next time. Guy upstairs. <laughs> just turn it down a notch. Just, just, just a scooch. Just a scooch. <laughs> just take it down. Because it, it's just... Asians. Be quiet. Come out of the apartment every once in a while. I would like to know your names. I know everybody else's names. Stalker guy. Stop stalking. You just stay where you are. It's called <laughs> recon. <laughs> I'm using Brittany's words against her because she thinks stalking, if you call it recon, it's okay. There's only, no, he's like creepy, he showed up at my work. If you're doing It's work, not like it's far away from the apartment. Yeah, but he went there because he knew I was there. He said that. Oh, that's great. If you're doing recon, they never know you're there. You, got, you, you need something else? Hoy. So, in conclusion... Be a good neighbor. Never. Never. If somebody's not making eye contact, maybe it's not because they think, not because they're a dick, but because they're scared of you. And not in like a creepy way, but in a, I may have a heart attack if I speak to you first kind of way. Right. So, be nice to your neighbors. And be considerate of your noise level. And if you're going to have a party, invite the cute girls in 104. Why are not the cute girls? We are the cute girls. We're the only cute girls. There's no... Everybody else is old. Your breath smells really good. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like those cupcake goldfish. That got creepy. I know. I that. Um, so, like this, please. Subscribe! And share us. Like, share us on Facebook. You know, we, we try to be family friendly. Sometimes a, a potty word slips out. Like today. But we don't mean for it to happen, and we are funny, or we think we're funny. Well, I think I'm hilarious. Um, and we, um, yeah, like us, share, share us. us, comment. Yeah, let us know what you think. Let us know if you have any douchey neighbors. And if you want to send us fan mail, email us at geekerytv geekerytv at, at gmail.com. I was just trying to put dot com, like, just whatever. In the middle. Yeah, um, and we will give you our super top secret uh, address. I'll try to slip it into another video for you guys. Don't slip it in. Brittany. <laughs> Mackenzie. <laughs> Bye. Bye.